In this tutorial, I'll show you how to snap an object to another object surface in Blender. And I use this method in my recent artwork, my humanoid robot, to place these bolts here on the robot's arm. So in a new scene in Blender, I have the robot's arm here, and I first want to create an object that I can snap to the other object. So I'll go to the Add menu, I'm going to go to Mesh, and I'll just add a circle. And then right behind me, if I click on the Add Circle Settings, I'm going to turn the vertices down to 6. Then I'll hit the Tab key to go into Edit Mode, and I'll just scale the hex bolt really small. And then I can also extrude up the hex bolt and then hit the F key to fill a face. So now I want to snap this bolt onto the arm of the robot. What I can do is click on this button here to turn on Blender's snapping feature. So now that the snapping feature is turned on, if I hit G to grab, you can see the snapping is going to move the object by increments. But instead of it moving by increments, I want it to snap to the object's face. So if I click here on the drop down, I can change the setting. And right now the snap target is increment, but let's change it to face project instead. Now when I hit G to grab and move the bolt, the bolt is being placed there on the surface of the other object. Object. There is a problem though, and that is that it's not rotating. So to fix this, we're going to click on this drop down, and we're going to click on the align rotation to target. So now if I move the bolt around, you can see the bolt is actually rotating depending on the rotation of the object. So I can duplicate the bolt and scale the bolt and just place the bolt here along this metal piece. Now in some cases the rotation may not be correct. If I just turn off the snapping feature and then duplicate the bolt here and bring it over, I'm going to press Alt R to clear the rotation. If I like go into edit mode and maybe rotate the bolt over on the x-axis by 90 degrees, now if I turn on the snapping feature and try to move it, you can see it's not snapping correctly because it's over here to the side. So what I found to work best is to make sure your object is pointing upwards and then press Control A and apply the rotation to make sure that's the default rotation of the object. So now if I move the bolt, you can see it's going to be placed correctly in the correct rotation. Now in some cases, I might want the bolt to actually be going through the other object a little bit. If I zoom in really close, you can see there's a tiny little bit of a gap there where the bolt isn't actually going into the metal. So to fix this, I'm going to again turn off the snapping feature. I'll duplicate this bolt here and press Alt R to clear the rotation. So what I can do is I can move the object's origin so that it is placed higher up or lower down. So if I hit tab to go into edit mode, I can hit G to grab and I can move the bolt down in edit mode, just place that there. So now you can see the origin point is more in the center of the bolt. So if I now turn back on the snapping feature and duplicate the bolt and stick it over here, you can see now it's going through the other object because the origin point is more in the center. And if for some reason the origin point is at a really odd spot on your object, what you can do is click on object, set origin, and then origin to geometry. And this will put the origin point in the exact center of the object's geometry. So I hope you found the video helpful and thank you for watching. And if you'd like to watch the full creation process of how I made this humanoid robot, link to that is in the description. And if you'd like to watch a more detailed video on the snapping features in Blender, then you can check out my longer video where I go into more detail about the different snapping features. So I hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching.